What's up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy WWE Kilo 504. You know what I'm saying? I've been gone for a little while. You know, I ain't made, you know, all the YouTube videos like I expect I was supposed to do. Um, I was gone on vacation. Um, you know, I got a job. You know, things happen. You gotta get money. But, um, I'm on, off vacation. You know, went to um, Hawaii with my dad. It was fun. It was cool. So, anyways, um, I came I came back yesterday, and um, I was able to see Destination X by Impact Wrestling, and it was a pretty good it was a pretty good pay per view. It was awesome. It was great. It was awesome, really. So, um, the first match was Kazarian against Samoa Joe. Um, that was a, that was a, you know, it wasn't like, it wasn't like they had any, like, great, great matches where we're going to be talking about them, like, forever, but, um, they had some pretty good, solid matches, um, because they didn't even beat Samoa Joe and, like, some schoolboy type of shit, it was crazy, um, they was hyping up the four-way contract for the, um, X Division, they was hyping that up, and um, you know, it was, it was alright. You know, I can't tell you the one, but um, it was alright. You know, and um, it was a pretty good match the way they set it up, or whatever. Um, I thought Low Key should have won. He didn't win though, but um, they had Danny Williams come out there. He challenged somebody to a match. Um, this kid named Mark Hoskins. Mark Hoskey, I'm sorry if I'm fucking up his name right now, but, um, he botched a lot, but, um, it'll be alright, it'll be alright when he, um, learns, you know, what to do or whatever, it was a pretty good match for him, you know, as a beginner, you know, it was a pretty good match for him, but, um, yeah, they had RVD versus Jerry Lynn, this was my favorite match, I'm an RVD fan, um, RVD Jerry Lynn back from the ECW days. So um I know what that's all about. And um RVD won the match. It was a very hardcore ECW style match, you know, even though it's for impact wrestling, still kinda of ECW. Um they had a four way X division a four way X division ultimate X match for the number one contendership for the uh, X division title. And um and Alex Shelley won. Alex Shelley won. It wasn't a great Ultimate X match, like the way they was hyping the shit up. Like I was hoping, like I was hope I thought they was gonna have two of them. I thought the um the contract and the um number one contender was gonna be the ultimate X match, but they just had the number one contender be the ultimate X match and it was like right. you know, it didn't have nobody really special in it, they had Robbie E. Shannon Moore, um, nobody really, I really killed for a sister for Alex Shelley, so, you know, he won, that was pretty good, um, they brought back the six-sided ring, I forgot to talk about that, they brought back the six-sided ring, and I think the six-sided ring is good for them, it's good for Impact Wrestling because, um, it sets them apart from any other wrestling promotion out there, you got a six-sided ring. Or whatever is entertaining. Um, a bitch and Brian Kendrick. It was for the X Division title. It wasn't that good. It wasn't really that good. Like um, they act like it was. You know, um, I didn't feel like it was that important. Like I just felt like it was gonna be some way Brian Kendrick would get the title because it was it was kind of predictable because he got beat up on Impact Wrestling and um. It just, it just wasn't that good of a title match when I think about it. It wasn't really that good. And they, and Brian Kendrick won, but um, they threw confetti and shit. Like they had one more match and they dropped down confetti. Like it's not even that that important, you know. It's like it wasn't even the main event. The main event was um AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. So I mean, they could have hyped that up or something. They could have put one of either Christopher Daniels or AJ Styles in that match, it would have been 
better or something to bring that X Division title back, but um, they didn't. So, you know, I'm not a writer or nothing, you know, so, I mean, what can you do? But, um, yeah, so, the main event, AJ Styles, Christopher Danks, AJ Styles wins. I'm an AJ Styles fan. How can you not be an AJ Styles fan? I'm a Christopher Daniels fan. How can you not be a Christopher Daniels fan? I'm a Fortune fan. How can you not be a Fortune fan when you watch Impact Wrestling? I mean, come on. They got Kazarian. They got Beer Money. They got AJ Styles. They got Christopher Daniels. That's a real good, you know, they should just really push, try to push them more as a group or something. You know, because that immortal bullshit, that, that immortal bullshit is some bullshit. It's some bullshit, you know. And um, AJ Styles won the match, and I thought they was going to have Christopher Dane change on AJ Styles, but they shook hands. It was a pretty good match. So, you know, as a, as a pay-per-view for them, they didn't have Sting involved. They didn't have Jeff Jarrett involved. They didn't have Kurt Angle involved. The hell, they didn't even have Hogan nowhere to be found. But it was, it was great without them. It was pretty great to just have the X Division and these young guys just just fighting, just fighting. It wasn't like all this talking, you can't see me bullshit right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a John Zena fan, you know, but I'm just saying it's not, you can't see me, it's woo, 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 that's right. Like, shit like that. It was just really just fighting. It was just going for it, you know, just just fighting. And, you know, Impact Wrestling just gave us what we wanted, which is for them to just wrestle, you know. So, I mean, they talk about wrestling matters, then there you go. They give us wrestling. To all you people that complains about WWE and everything else, we got Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling was pretty good, you know? So, um, I like Impact Wrestling. Keep it up, you guys. All of them. And, um, I'll see you later.